If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. Most of us know that the material world is made of matter, but we do not understand the mechanics behind it. Contemporary science is revealing that the firm belief in a distinction between the material and the spiritual world is false. There is no duality, the universe is constructed from one and one substance only, and both the physical and mental world springs forth from this single substance, called the ether. The ether energy can arrange itself into basic geometrical wave patterns that were named after Plato, the platonic solids to form matter. Almost 2,500 years ago, Plato wrote that the physical world was constructed from the platonic solids. The platonic solids arrange themselves in what chaos theory calls fractal patterns weaving a matrix in space interconnecting atoms with the stars. The scales of the platonic solid shapes are different but the ratios between them are still the same. The suggestion coming from quantum science that the probability waves are real waves is now believed to be true. This finally solves the enigma of the wave-particle duality of quantum science. There are no particles in the universe, only waves. What we see as a particle is in fact the focal point of vibrations. The easiest and most familiar way to study vibration is through sound. Any musician will tell you that all vibrations of sound are grouped into octaves, and we know that oct means the number 8. In an octave there are 7 fundamental nodes of vibration followed by an 8. The 8th node has two purposes, in that it not only completes one octave, but it also begins the next. Mathematically, the highest note in an octave has a vibration speed or frequency that is twice as fast as the lowest note, and that is the most basic way to see how an octave organizes one full group of sound vibrations. Every note, whether A, B, C, D, E, F, or G, will be doubled in its value in the next octave. Since the octaves are continually doubling in their vibration, there are only a handful of octaves within the range of human hearing. Above a certain point the vibrations will become too fast for human ears to detect, even though they will still exist all around us. We all know, a sound is defined as nothing more than a vibration of molecules of air. That is the number of times the air vibrates per second. However, even the air itself is not necessary all we need is something, anything, that vibrates. For example, we can hear these same sounds underwater, such as in the songs of the whales. The metal on a tuning fork, when struck, can create sound just by holding the base of the fork to your skull and allowing it to resonate through your body. In short, the vibrations of sound do not just occur in air they fundamentally vibrate through everything. Hearing sound is simply a way for us to directly perceive and experience vibrations. Now you could take the numerical ratios between each note in the musical diatonic scale and double them many times over, and eventually you would find the same, identical ratios between the vibrational speeds of the light spectrum. The only difference is the magnitude sound is vibrating much more slowly, while light is vibrating much more quickly. Similar to sound, we have octaves in the light spectrum. With seven visible colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet before starting a higher level or octave of vibrations, such as infrared and ultraviolet. Ultimately, we will show that all vibrations that create our universe are simply different forms of this one unified conscious energy, which can be seen as light or ether.